Today we're looking at these fans from APNX. What makes them different is not just the metal frames, so the RGB, you've got the central RGB and then a ring around, but not only that, you can actually change the blades out and get the airflow to be reversed. The FP2 by APNX is a high performance fan designed for both radiators and cases. It features a 30mm steel frame outperforming standard 25mm fans by 30 to 50%. This fan boasts superior cooling with efficient airflow at lower RPMs and includes a reversible flow blade for customizable airflow direction. It's equipped with fluid dynamic bearings for smoother, quieter operation and a longer lifespan. The FP2 also offers striking ARGB lighting and your choice of black or white steel frames, ensuring both aesthetic appeal and durability in your PC build. The packaging of this fan is visually appealing, yet it doesn't immediately reveal what sets it apart as special. The front of the box displays a picture of the product, clearly stating its model number and the fact that it features ARGB lighting. On the reverse side, the packaging becomes more informative, offering detailed specifications including airflow. Additionally, it provides helpful diagrams illustrating the dimensions of the fan as well as two separate blade sets. Upon opening the box, you'll find a smaller box neatly tucked inside. This secondary box contains three sets of screws, providing versatile mounting options. Whether you're looking to attach the fan directly to a case with two distinct options, or attach it to a water cooler, these screws cater for each scenario. Alongside the hardware, the package includes the main fan unit. It also includes an additional reverse flow fan blade for alternative airflow direction. The fan frame exhibits a sleek design, characterised by its outer full metal construction. A noteworthy feature is a single discrete gap in one corner, designed for cable routing. The frame's screw hole corners are rubberized, an excellent choice for reducing vibrations and ensuring a more stable operation. In terms of dimensions, this fan sets itself apart from the norm. It is thicker than the standard 25mm thickness found on most fans, measuring in at 30mm thick. This should give it extra sturdiness and also help get more airflow through the fan. The fan's increased thickness does mean that standard screws won't suffice for installation, but luckily enough the manufacturers thought about this and included three different screw sets. One thing to note for compatibility, if you're trying to attach this to a cooler, usually a CPU cooler, that uses clips and the clips go between the corners, so it usually has an open section on the corners of the fan, then your cooler will not fit these fans. This fan offers a unique feature with two airflow options, thanks to the inclusion of a set of reversible blades. By switching out the standard blades with the reverse set, you can alter the direction of the airflow. This has the benefit for custom PC builds, where you might want to position fans in various orientations inside the PC case. It ensures that the fans look aesthetically pleasing from all angles, avoiding the less attractive back part of the frame that's typically exposed when fans are mounted at the bottom or sides of a case. However, it's worth noting that there seems to be a lack of clear instructions either on the website or in the packaging regarding the process of swapping out the fan blades. We found the best method to be gently pushing the inner ring from behind with two fingers at the same time. This action requires a bit of pressure but eventually releases the blades. Caution is advised during this process, pushing on the individual blades is not recommended as they could potentially snap under the pressure. This aspect of the fan might require a bit of trial and error for users during installation or customization. The ARGB or addressable RGB feature on this fan is very impressive. It boasts two distinct lighting zones, adding to its aesthetic appeal. The first zone is centrally located on the fan, illuminating the diffused blades, while the second zone consists of a brighter ring along the edge of the fan frame. 
This dual zone design gives the fan a unique and eye-catching appearance. The LED lights themselves are notably bright and effective. Their intensity is such that the lighting effects are clearly visible even under strong studio lighting conditions. When running all three fans at 100%, the fans are somewhat noisy at 52 decibels, where the room decibel level was 41 decibels, but at speeds of 50%, it became almost inaudible. So down to testing, all testing was done in a climate controlled room with temperature set at 21 and a half degrees Celsius and the way we do the testing is we use a Arctic liquid freezer 2 360 millimeter radiator water cooler and attach three identical fans on each test to the radiator to get the temperatures. So down to the results, we compared the APNX fan against an Arctic P12 fan which comes with the Liquid Freezer 2 as stock. And as you can see here, the average temperature was 3 degrees cooler on the APNX fan, which is pretty good considering this fan has actually got RGB lighting on it, which usually is a bad thing when you're looking at performance. The maximum temperature the actual processor got up to while being cooled with the fans, again, 3 degrees less using the APNX fan. So on both the average and maximum temperature, the APNX wins out by 3 degrees. So on this next test, we're doing the same thing yet again, but with the fans running at 100% speed, so working flat out. And as you can see here, there is a 1 degree difference between the Arctic and the APNX. On the average temperature, the APNX fan wins out, where on the maximum temperature, it's the other way around, where the Arctic fan wins. Now we're looking at the decibel levels. Again, this is how loud the actual fans are. Bear in mind, we're measuring three fans running at once. The room level is 31 decibels when the fan kicks in. The Arctic fan's coming at 36 decibels, where the APNX coming at 41 decibels. And this is when the fans are running at 50% speed. And in this test, it's basically the same again, but this time the fans are running at flat out, so full speed. The Arctic fans do come in a lot quieter at 45 decibels compared to the APNX at 56. But saying that, the APNX fans on average perform better, so more noise, more airflow, better performance. So take your pick. In summary, this fan impresses with its sleek design, enhanced airflow from its 30mm thickness and the versatility of reversible blades. While it lacks clear instructions for blade removable and a PWM daisy chain feature, its strengths in other areas compensate. The ARGB lighting is particularly noteworthy for its brightness and unique dual zone effect. Noise levels are well controlled, with a fan remaining quiet at reduced speeds. Overall, the fans offer a great combination of style, functionality and efficient cooling, making them an excellent choice for a PC enthusiast, despite minor areas for improvement. I hope you enjoyed this video and know I did. Why not check out one of our other videos by clicking this box up here or this one just down here. Otherwise, you can give us a thumbs up, like, subscribe, comment below, let us know what you think and we'll see you next time.